This is Joe Basso with Music Radar. I'm here with Doug Doffler from RNG Amps, and we're here to look at the V. The, 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 what is it? Well, Americans would say it's a tube tester. A tube tester, yes. But uh, it's it's a it's a, an orange product, so it's a, technically the V2 1000 is a valve tester. Okay, we got that. Who's okay. on first? Oh, there you go. No, okay. no, don't start that. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. All right. So why don't you tell me a little bit about how this came about and why it came about? Really. Okay. Um, we would have to do a little bit of a, of a kind of a, a history lesson. The short version is this little socket set here. Yeah. Uh, is part of actually we just kind of reissue this if you will. It's the Devo self install kit, the OV4. Right. And it basically means if you got a two or four socket. 50 or 100 watt fixed bias amplifier. You can install this and basically you can swap tubes and mix and match them at will okay. um, without having to rebias the amplifier, which it means that literally in a, in, a, in a socket set like this, I've got six L6s in the center and EL34s on the outside. Okay. So it means that I can actually craft my own tube tone. So we started there. Okay. And then we really wanted to be able to address the preamp side of the circuit. Basically, we've kind of got uh, put together a little bit of my collection of pedals here. We have Adam and Eve here, right? We got Adam and we've got Eve here. So really, this is the original DS1, you know, uh, black bottom. We got the original Tube Screamer. Right. And those were manufactured at a time when players, like myself, would walk into a store. A twin reverb, you have to get it ridiculously loud for it to start to break yeah, up. Yeah. So players really had a genuine need to start using pedals. As amps became more and more dependent on multi-gain stages, right. we still kept using pedals just because we started getting used to using pedals. And there's nothing wrong with pedals. Plus we like to do that thing with our foot. We love to do our yeah. thing with the foot, and especially when it interacts with the tube circuit, it's very special. And you're like, if I need more, every guitar player needs more. So the, the challenge is, we're trying to, basically, with this pedal here, the original op amp that's in here, they can't make anymore. Right. So basically, you've got the Robert Keeley version of the new pedal trying to make it sound like the old pedal that's really trying to make it sound like the tube. And basically, when and you then you're holding all this stuff, and you're holding all this stuff. Now, you know, eBay loves it. You know, it gives you something to talk about on on uh, the gear page and on Music Radar. Right. Yeah. Uh, but the reality is, what you can do with the with the valve tester is you can actually go through, and it can actually there's a seven. I've seemed to have wiped this off. This guy would have been this is the EHX. You can this say, you can say this, this is the, this is the seven eight. Okay. And then the Mullard was the eight nine. So basically. I now have gain, gain stages associated with each one of these three tubes, so if I want to do a country gig, I'd use this preamp tube. If I want to do a metal gig, i use this preamp tube. And basically the valve tester makes it really easy to use. You just plug in the tube, you turn it on, you kind of cycle through the appropriate type of tube using these hogglers. You hit test about a minute and a half later on a preamp tube, it's going to give you a number. Basically these tubes have a left and a, and a right side. If they're perfectly balanced, it's going to be one number that's going to be solid. If the left side is a little bit less gainy, you're going to see that that basically go dot flashing on the eight and a solid nine. If the right side is is um, is louder, you're going to see the the thing flashing on the other side. You really know this stuff. Actually, what I just said was wrong. Whichever is the lesser gain is going to flash. Uh, my bad. Uh, I've spent a, so the beauty is is like like most of you guys, I've got tubes in drawers, but I don't know what the value is, and they sound different as you go from brand to brand. And so what you're going to get a chance to do is come up with a definitive setting on the tube, know what it is, right on the side of it with a Sharpie, and that way when you plug it into a circuit, you know exactly how much gain is going to, going to be there. It's very cool. Yeah, yeah. With power amp tubes, the same process, but basically, in some ways, it's almost the opposite. Like, the lower the setting is what you call early distortion, which means the lower the, lower the level, the, the easier it's going to break up. In the center there, you've got average. Hey, what do you know? And here is what they call late distortion, which is what you would want to put in a high-gain amplifier, where, ironically, the power amp section, you want to try and keep that fairly clean and you turn, until you turn it right. way up. Point being is, is that we're used to doing that type of manipulation with pedals because we just got used to doing it. Now we can set very specific points in our amplifier with our tubes and then manipulate that with our pedals. And that sort of control and the ability to craft in your amplifier what we've been imitating really kind of in one dimension with our pedals is something that's really unprecedented. We're very excited about plus, it. Plus, you look cool just holding a bunch of tubes. Well, I mean, you know, it's, it's it, any guitar player is like, oh, what do you got there? Oh, I got a Mullard. 
What do you got? He's holding a Mueller. You know, it's just, it's great. And the, the, the beauty of it is, is that you can begin to go out, you know, this guy cost less than I paid for my vintage tube screamer. So it means that you can buy, wow. make the investment once and you can quantify exactly what you want tonally. So you have a Jimi Hendrix moment. You're like, my rig was perfect. Document every setting. Go back to the amp, document all your, all your, all your tubes and then you can go back and recreate that. Or if you're like, it was almost there, but there wasn't quite enough gain in there. Let me measure that. Oh, that was a seven. Let me try an eight or an eight, nine. And oh. it just allows you to manipulate your tone in a way that we are already doing, but we're doing it in one dimension with pedals instead of three dimensions with tubes.